within our culture too, the biggest thing is we just don't put them in a nursing home. We all support the family comes in and we we help mom and dad do what they wanted to do. My my challenges is trying to maintain two households. Even though I was a part-time caregiver, I still have my main responsibility, which was my kids at my house. Getting or learning skills as a caregiver. How, when's meds due? What, what types of medication um, does he need to eat with? Um, what, how, what are the effects of it? Getting that training out there so we can be, as caregivers, we can be more knowledgeable. We can know right from the jump what we should be doing, things that maybe are red flags, how we can take care of ourselves to take that long run that we're doing with, with the caregiving that we're doing because it is so tiresome. My parents are retired, so they are, um, they don't have, I mean, they have an income, but they didn't qualify for support for caregivers. Like we could have someone come in to relieve us. For us as Native American families who are doing the caregiving, we're not asking for handouts, but we're asking for some form of support. Maybe it's a volunteer, you know, there's people that retire that want to help, you know, like it's driving my mom to the to her doctor's appointment because she may have 10 in a month. And, you know, um, we're still working, so we're trying to balance all that. Who's going to take the time off? Who's applying for intermittent FML? What doctors are going to be, you know, those kinds of dynamics. leadership, Congress, if they could understand the depths of this and really promote support, promote things that are going to help the caregivers so we can be more stronger, like I said, because it's a long run. We don't even know where the finish line is.